Have you ever thought somebody might have hacked into your Wi-Fi network? Have strange things been happening? Has your Wi-Fi been running slow? Well, this guide will show you how you can find out who's connected to your Wi-Fi. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, there might be times when you're wondering, has somebody got into my Wi-Fi? Have somebody left themselves logged in? Has a neighbor popped round, asked to use the Wi-Fi, then gone home again? You feel like perhaps they might have still left themselves logged in. Well, this guide is gonna show you how to tell who's still connected to your Wi-Fi network. It'll work on any PC. There's also an app for the iPhone and iPad and also Android phones and tablets that I'm gonna tell you about at the end of this video too. So let's open up Microsoft Edge. You can use any browser. I'm just gonna use Edge simply because it's pre-installed on virtually every PC. So what we need to do is we need to go to the address bar right at the top of the screen there, okay? Not any search bar in the middle, the address bar right at the top. And if there's anything in there, delete it out, okay? And then type in there, nirsoft.net. That's N for November, I for Indigo, R for Romeo, S for September, O for Oscar, F for Foxtrot, T for Tango, full stop, N for November, E for Echo, T for Tango. If you need more time to look at this, at this address or write it down, then please pause this video and come back to it once you've written it down. So, as I say, once you've typed in nearsoft.net, all in lowercase with no spaces, press enter or return on your keyboard, and hopefully if you've typed in the correct address, then you should see this web page here. Go down to network tools, just on the left hand side there. Move your mouse actually over the word network tools, left click once, and then scroll down and you're looking for this here, wireless network watcher. So move your mouse over that, left click once, and you should get to this page here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page until you see underneath feedback, this just here, download wireless network watcher in zip file. I did lie there, it wasn't right at the bottom of the screen, it is slightly up from the bottom, but there you go. So we're looking for download wireless network watcher in brackets in zip file. So move your mouse over that, left click once, and it should start to download. Hopefully it should only take a few seconds because it is a very small file. Once it's downloaded, move your mouse over the cross in your browser, close it down, and then go to any yellow folder on the desktop, okay? Once you've done that, go into the downloads folder, it's there or there, doesn't matter where you go into it, and you're looking for WNetWatcher, that's WNetWatcher. Once you've found it, move your mouse over it, okay? Then click the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, and then left click Extract All. Okay, once you see this screen here, move your mouse over Extract at the bottom there, left click once, and there we go. We're now looking for W Net Watcher just there. So move your mouse over the colored icon, the little I, not the one with the question mark, but the I beside it. Move your mouse over that, click on the right mouse button again, and then move your mouse over Run as Administrator and click the left mouse button. Okay, the screen will darken and you'll get this. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Wireless Network Watcher and as long as the verified publisher is NIR space F-S-O-F-E-R, then it's okay to say yes to that. So it will load up and it will list all of the devices that are on the Wi-Fi network, giving you things like the device name, if they know about it, the MAC address, and also about the network adapter in there. So if you see anything in there that you're not too sure about, then that may well be somebody else that's hacked into your network. But it's quite easy to look at something and say, what's that? I haven't got a clue what that is. So if, for instance, you, you see something that you, you're not sure about, then what you can do is, best thing to do is probably Google it. So Google the device name. So for instance, I've got these here, iStore Networks. Haven't got a clue what they are, so double click on it. Doesn't really give me any more details, 
but once I've Googled iStore Networks, it tells me it's something to do with a CCTV system. And yes, I do have a CCTV system. I actually have a CCTV box and three cameras. So that would account for those there. If you do see something you're really not sure about and once you've Googled it, you still can't account for it, then the best thing to do is to log into your router or Wi-Fi access point and change the password. You may need to consult with your internet provider or your router manufacturer on how you do this. Once you've changed your Wi-Fi password, then you'll have to go back and enter in the Wi-Fi password on every device that you have connected. I should also say that this not only lists Wi-Fi devices, but also Ethernet devices too. So please bear that in mind. Now, if you wanted to scan again, just click on the, uh, the play button just there and it will scan again once more and have a look to see what it's found now. Also, if you wanted to save a copy of all of the details that uh, have been uh, picked up, then what you can do is you can click on file just up there and go down to save all items, left click once there, give it a name um, and tell it where it, you want to save it. So I'm just going to call this devices and then I'm going to save that on my desktop there. Click on save. I'm going to close this down and let's close down these other windows here and we should have a file there called devices. And when I double click on that, it will give us all the devices there in a list format here with more details. If you want to remove the program from your computer, then it isn't actually installed, but to get rid of the files that you've downloaded, just go into File Explorer and then go into Downloads and just delete WNetWatcher. There's going to be two folders there. There's going to be one with a zip for it, which is a zip file, and another one there, which is the folder itself. So all you do is just move your mouse over each of these, right click, and if you've got Windows 11, go to the bin. If you've got Windows 10 or below, then go to Delete. And like I say, you'll need to do that twice. So right click, go to the bin on Windows 11, or if you're using Windows 10 or before, go to delete. And if it asks you to confirm, then obviously confirm it. Now I did say there is also an app available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android based phones and tablets. And that is called Fing. F-I-N-G, that's F for Freddy, I for Indigo, N for November, G for Golf. And if you uh, need that, then what you can do is you can go into the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, search for it in there and uh, you'll find it in there. It's a blue icon with white arrows and dots inside it as you'll see on the screen right now, and uh, download that to your phone tablet. You can then check to see what's connected on your network. So there you go, I hope this guide helps, and don't forget whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.